What's up, y'all? We are back. This is Avatar The Last Airbender trailer 2024 Netflix breakdown and Easter eggs. Um, I forgot who made this video. I think Emergency Awesome or some YouTuber made this video. We knew. Uh, I saw a few pictures for the trailer over on Twitter. Uh, it looks all right. I mean, yeah, I don't have much to say. So, I saw Avatar very recently. Air, water, earth. Oh, air, water. Oh, is this the actual trailer or something? It looks good. The last airbender. It looks very good. Oh, Netflix is making it. Day, Team Avatar is back. So they dropped a brand new Avatar The Last Airbender Netflix trailer video. So we'll break it all down and explain what's happening with the series. Also talk about the animated movies that Mike and Brian are making in the new animated episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender oh. that they're going to be doing. There'll be a couple new series that they're currently working on right now, in addition to new animated movies on top of the live action Netflix episodes. Okay. So full Avatar into the Avatarverse. We'll be getting Avatar series and movies for like the next hundred years. We'll be like old hundred years talking about this to our great great grandchildren. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get. My hope is that they don't ruin um the series All the with a lot of episodes, like milking it for money. It Hopefully, they don't ruin the series. Obviously, they also confirmed that they're holding it till 2024, mostly to work on the special effects for all the bending abilities. One of the interesting changes, though, to this new intro is that you don't see the actual benders. I'm assuming that they'll change this when they release the next big trailer. Like the final version in the intros for all the actual live action episodes will be closer to the animated intro scenes. And they don't use the original theme song in the intro from the animated series during this as well. Jeremy Zuckerman said that he's not doing music for the series. So I'm assuming that the music Who is Jeremy Zuckerman? The action Avatar series will be a little bit different from the animated Avatar series. But just like when they got to Legend of Korra, he wrote new music for that. They use oh, he's their series too, like normal musician. Okay, across all Avatar series, they don't say exactly when it's going to premiere in 2024, but I'm assuming it'll be the first half by the spring at least. Probably Talking about the new animated Avatar: The Last Airbender movie that they're making with the gang. They just revealed a first look for that at CinemaCon this year. It's meant to tee up the big Avatar universe that they're expanding. Basically, when they announced they were coming back to the project to the series, they were going to be making it. Oh, Look at Rava. TV series set in the universe and, and a bunch more movies as well, but all in the animated universe. All the live action stuff that's completely separate, that's Netflix stuff. Okay. The very first movie they're doing is about the adult gang, as you can see here. Set yeah, I definitely want to see this. The funny thing about this is it actually doesn't look too different from a lot of the fan art that we've seen from everybody the last several years. One of the notable differences, though, is that Aang does not have a beard, and he does have a beard in all the adult Aang that we see during Korra. During those episodes, he was actually closer to the end of his life, closer to his 40s. Looking at that epic ponytail that Zuko has, how much older Katara looks. His 40s? He's like 140 done. Three, like very early 20s Aang, even though technically his body is much, much older. They didn't say who the villains are right. to be, but they're not doing the exact plot of the comics. But they did say that the plot of the comics will start to become canon. For the most part, it's all meant to be canon. If you haven't read anything, Cannon, comics, okay. they basically tell you exactly is that what Zula? to them right after the finale. Like Aang and Fire Lord Zuko create Republic City, or they start creating Republic City. It takes a while to build it. Azula comes back to harass Zuko, doing exactly what you would expect adult Azula to do. They explain who talks. Azula is so daddies, toxic. She had two different baby daddies, and they explain what happened to Zuko's mother. I've already done a couple of videos about all that stuff, so I'll post links for that stuff in the description below. Wait, Top had two baby daddies? You don't get from this first look scene here. Why they got Top all the way in the background? 3D animation. They did say that for all the different upcoming 3D animation series and movies, they would all probably have slightly different animation styles. They have about three different movies that are in development right now. The adult gang one is just the first one. That means that all three of those movies might have slightly different animation styles. I saw something about a Kiyoshi movie. The original Avatar The Last Airbender series had a very different animation style from Legend of Korra when that aired. Brian Konietzko was recently talking about the future of Avatar as well, too. Now we're getting to expand the franchise in different directions all at once. Now 
I'm confused. Our first movie. Why would they change up the animation style? I feel like the animation of Avatar and Korra was one of its strong sides. The final mix and the final color correction on the feature. Now we're talking about doing multiple projects at the same time, including feature films. It's really cool to hear him talking about Avatar again. They've been working on it for a while now. They're just really quiet about it. They said that it took them almost four years to develop the original Avatar The Last Airbender series. Oh, they wow. They announced the project close to about four years ago, which is why it's taking so long for them to release all this, because they're trying to build out an entire universe. I feel like the universe is pretty fleshed out, though, is it not? Mike and Brian's first new, remember this, first new but not last new animated Avatar The Last Airbender series is now confirmed to be about the next Avatar after Korra, moving the timeline forward the same way that Korra just came after Aang. The Interesting. The goes fire, air, water, and earth. So when Mike and Brian first announced that they were making new animated Avatar movies and series, most of us just speculated that they'd logically just move the timeline forward and do the next Avatar after right. Korra, which would be an Earthbender Avatar. But they are also doing stuff earlier in the timeline, too. Like, they'll be jumping all over the timeline and a bunch of different types of projects. I'll explain later in the video. But the new full regular animated series will just pick up after Korra has died and the new oh, dang. Avatar is born. They haven't announced who I would like to is. nah what do you mean after Korra has died I would like to know more about Korra I feel like her entire history as an avatar can't be for like a four years like the, the the three four seasons that she had surely stuff had to happen in her adult life right Korra in the comics that explains what happens to her after the events of the finale her lifespan is meant to be fairly typical of the majority of all avatars meaning she lived beyond 100 years old oh wow Which you would consider like a slightly longer lifespan for a really healthy person living past 100 in the avatar universe isn't uncommon for regular people the only major exceptions to how long avatars live are when they're either killed in battle like killed under mysterious circumstances or the most famous examples being avatar kyoshi and avatar ang Aang died when he was 66 chronologically, and at the time it was considered a very early death in terms of his years spent walking around like chronologically, but biologically he died at the age of 166 because he was stuck in the ice for over 100 years. Right. And being in the Avatar state for that long just took a huge toll on his body. Had that not happened, he would have just lived a normal lifespan well past 100 years. The other exception, like on the other end of that, is Kyoshi, who lived way longer than most avatars. She was about 200 years old. 200? She, she, she was also just physically way bigger than most people. One of the new animated movies that they're She doing was 200 years old? Movie. I'll talk about that later in the video. That's crazy. So they are doing a lot of new Kyoshi stuff, too. But the idea is that this new Earthbender avatar series after Korra would pick up about 100 years after the Korra finale, close to or at real world present day, like a modern day avatar, like a lot of people wondered that they would do. So the idea is that during the events of Korra, Republic City, for example, had a very roaring 20s inspired vibe with the design and the level of technology, the way bending had evolved. Yeah. This new series would look more like our real world present day, like an avatar walking around with our current level of technology. Oh. But remember, this is the Avatar universe, so it's not always like a one to one comparison. Like the best example. I mean. Will this new avatar be the one who walks around with an iPhone in his or her pocket, like the TikTok avatar? TikTok no avatar. The avatar universe. Please do not. This is where I think Mike and Brian will change a couple things, like the current period. But I mean, that's not too far fetched. They already have phones in um in Legend of Korra, so um they are smart people in in the show. So of course, I assume technology is going to progress. That's just expected. The way science starts to rival traditional use of bending elements. Like during the events of Legend of Korra, their big thing was showing that just 50 years plus after Avatar The Last Airbender, society so like bored, huh? harnessing lightning bending powers to generate electricity. People like Kuvira began to harness spirit energy taken from the vines in the world tree, using them to power weapons and technology. People like Beifong were using their metal bending abilities to power their technology for to be attack on Titan characters, characters, but also their armor, their weaponry. Attack what on Titan is more of that kind of thinking, like scientists in the future of the Avatar universe finding new ways oh. of exploiting bending energy, cosmic energy from the spirit world for weapons, for technology, even for just regular everyday stuff that non benders use and take advantage of. They started to get into this idea during Korra season four, where some people had started to harvest, abuse spirit energy, cosmic energy. The spirit world started to fight back. The spirits themselves, the biological life that originated there, like the vines that started to take over Republic City. So when the way the Korra series in general had started to get into the balance between bending and technology, 
a modern day Avatar series would be all about that. Like the other cool thing being that every time they do advance the timeline of the Avatar universe is that bending in general just evolves as people come up with more creative ways to use their bending powers. You start to see even more specialized forms of sub bending. Why are you Maybe showing uh, what's his name? Farting though. Of bending do you want to see just based on what we've already seen from sub bending styles? Right now, the target release date is the end of 2025, right after the new oh, wow. Avatar it's a long time. movie comes out. So I mean, it's really only like a year and some change, but it's a long time. October 2025. October. Like right after that, the series picks up. The new Avatar series will run at the same time as the live action Netflix series, but the live action Interesting. episodes are just retelling the events of the original Avatar The Last Airbender animated series. Right. Playing. And by the time the new animated series premieres, we'll be in like season two of the live action series. And while that's happening, every two or every three years, they'll release a new animated Avatar movie. They've already announced three oh, movies wow. total. The first one is with the adult gang, but the second two are a Zuko movie and a Kyoshi movie. A Zuko movie? They're going to do them in, but I'm Why Zuko? Right now it starts with the Avatar The Last Airbender movie about the whole gang, because they've confirmed that, then the Zuko movie, and then the Kyoshi movie. Why Kyoshi, Kyoshi coming last, bro? I want to see Kyoshi. I heard Kyoshi was a savage. Time, they probably won't talk about the other stuff till after. After later seasons of this first new one though netflix just released their one piece oh yeah i saw stuff about this uh one piece thing too as soon as possible too so be sure to enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss i don't know how good it's gonna be but i've definitely seen stuff about the uh, one piece movies and click here for that one piece trailer i'll update the link as soon as i post it thank you so much for watching everyone stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next one okay I mean, I feel like the series is going to be successful, especially the animated one, the animated movies and then the um, the actual animated series. I think that that's going to be really successful. I am very curious, though, um, how Korra died. I'm it's probably just old age, but like I want to know more about her as an as an adult, definitely. And yeah, I mean. I'm not surprised that they're going to have iPhones and technology and stuff. It's just like reality. Come on now. Um, yeah, that's about it for me. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. And yeah, peace out.